back with a new Get Ready With Me and today's Get Ready With Me is something different because it will be a collaboration with Guardian and Guardian has collaborated with Olive Young to bring in all these products from Korea so the special thing about today is that the products I'll be using are only exclusively sold in Guardian so if you're interested in the products please head on to Guardian to check them out okay so today's makeup look is more Korean style so since all the products are actually from Korea I've decided to do a more like sophisticated Korean eye makeup because I've already done this natural Korean makeup look so this time around I'm gonna be doing the very popular slightly smoky kind of like K-pop star makeup look today but of course when it comes to Korean beauty it's all about skincare so today we'll be starting off with the skincare so to start off, I have already washed my face using this Botanic Heal Anti-Dust Glue Foam Cleanser. My face feels squeaky clean now. I can really feel that it's like clean inside out. And the texture is really interesting. It's like, elast look at that, it's like, it's like glue. And it smells really pleasant as well. It really helps to clean out the inside of your pores too. Okay, so next up, I'll be using the toner. And this is from Bring Green. It's their Carrot Vita Toner Pad. And I really like this because they are in cotton pads themselves so I don't have to take my own cotton pads and soak it and this is obviously fully soaked so I'll just take one sheet and rub it over my face and this one really helps to keep my skin moisturized so the great thing about these toner pads is that if you have events to attend to let's say and you want your skin to be brighter you can always like ply two pieces of the cotton pads here and it will act like mask so next up I have Botanic Heal Derma Water the Ceramide Emulsion so this one helps to voluminize your skin and make it supple so it's really moisturizing and hydrating for your skin. So this one I like to use it after toner. This also has anti-wrinkle effect. I'm not sure if you realize, maybe I smile too much but I have a lot of wrinkles at the side of my eyes. Okay, so after that step, we have the Botanic Heal again and this one is the Derma Shot Vitamin All-in-One Essence. So just now the emulsion is anti-wrinkle and moisturizing and this one is anti-wrinkle plus whitening. And the good thing about this is an all-in-one essence because, you know, sometimes we can get a bit lazy when it comes to skincare. So things that are like all-in-one are always amazing. Okay, so the last step to my Korean Beauty skincare routine will be the Bring Green Carrot Vita Dark Spot Serum. As you can tell, I have a lot of dark spots on my face. I have freckles and this thing helps to reduce your dark spots, your red spots and your pigmentations basically. I usually like to apply serum on the last step because it's the thickest um, product. So it absorbs really quickly into your skin. So these are the areas with a lot of pigmentation. So I make sure to apply at this area. Having nice skin to work with is really important when it comes to Korean makeup. So always remember that. Always remember to prep your skin before doing your base makeup. Alright, so now that I'm done with my skincare and I've already prepped my skin, I'm gonna be applying my base makeup. Since the focus for today is the skincare and eye makeup, I'm gonna fast forward the base makeup part and I'll just be going ahead with my usual base makeup routine. Okay, I am back with my base makeup done. So I'll be starting off with my eyebrows first. And today we'll be doing, of course, a straight eyebrow look because it's the Korean style. And I will be using this Wig Make Brow Cont. And this is in the shade 01. It's like grey brown. And how I use this is you just lightly fill up following your brow shape but going straighter. Because usually my brows go downwards like that. I will just fill up straighter here this hole so that it will be straighter a little goes a long way for this product because it's quite pigmented for a brow product but once you're done with filling up like that just use a spoolie brush to blend out really super quick so if you're in a rush right this product is the best So what you can do to make your brows look more precise is to use an angled brow brush and just touch lightly like that and fill up the spaces that you want to fill up. And with this, I'll be contouring my nose too. So just like color this area like a contour stick and then blend it out using your fingers. 
Alright, so now on to my eye makeup. I'll be using this palette from Wake Make Again. The colors are so nice and it's really complementing to my skin tone. And the good thing is, right, this palette is so small. Look at that. It's so small and compact. You can just take it everywhere. It's wearable in every occasion. Anyway, this is in the shade 03. So to start off the eye makeup, I'll be using this shade at the bottom, using my finger, and I'll apply it all over my eyelid like that. So I'm just trying to recreate the very popular K-pop um, eye makeup look but with less effort so all of us can just recreate this look at home. Remember to apply a little bit on your lower eyelid as well. Just bring it in like that. And using your fingers is always the best when it comes to blending your eyeshadow. So next up I'll be using this shade. So this is slightly darker than the shade that we used just now on this area. Applying some on the lower lid as well. So the first shade is on the entire thing. The second shade is slightly lower. So we are trying to create a gradient effect over here. And now using a slightly angled brush, we'll be using the darkest shade, which is this shade. And for this, I'll be applying on the inner corner, and then on the lash line, and then the outer corner. So that's the focus. Okay, so next we'll be using the Wake Make Any Proof Pen Eyeliner in 02 Brown. And this is a Any Proof Pen Eyeliner set. So in this set, there is actually the liquid eyeliner itself and also a liquid eyeliner remover. So it comes in a set like that. Some like waterproof eyeliner is just so hard to remove. And this actually helps to remove your eyeliner quickly. So the good thing about this is also if you ever screw up your eyeliner, you can just clean it up just at that spot like this. Just wipe it off. So for the Korean look, right, they like to extend the end of their eyeliner. We'll be starting off from the inside first. Using the same eyeshadow just now, the darkest eyeshadow shade and an angled brush, we are going to be layering this on top of the liquid eyeliner. So that it will look more smoky. So what I like to do right for Korean looks is that I feel they like to fill up a lot on this lower area. And fill up the bottom here. Then drag down the eyeshadow slightly. With the same shade, bring it into the inner lid. And since Korean look is all about the Ego style, we are going to be recreating the Ego style again which is this baby eye bag. So using the lighter brown shade, we can use it as a contour shade and just smile. We can dab it here just to create a bit of shadow. And then blend it out using your fingers so it doesn't look too crazy. Okay, now we got to highlight some areas of your eyes. So using the brightest shade, this is a peachy shade using my fingers. Just gonna be putting at the center of my lid. Remember to highlight your ego style, which is this eye bag. So you uh, so you contour this line, then you gotta highlight this bag here. So now just put on your mascara and we are done with the eye makeup. So Wig Make also has this eyeshadow foil thing and it's glittery, very pretty. Just gonna be applying some of this on the lower eyelid. So for this look, I don't think we need a blush because the focus is so much on the eyes. It's very hazy and I like the effect of this. So with the lip colors, we have a lot from Wig Make here. There are the lipsticks and there are these lip paints. And I have decided to use this shade. So this is the very trendy brick kind of shade. This is in the shade 15 Chai Paint. Very pretty, it's like brownish. I think this look is very very easy to recreate and this is how I try to simplify the whole K-pop makeup. And honestly, there are so many other looks that I can create using this palette and I've only used 3 shades, I mean 4 shades from this palette today. So that's it for today's makeup look. I hope you like it and like I said, you can get all of these products that I've used. The skincare products from Botanic Hill, B.O.H. and the Bring Green products 
and also the Wick Make Makeup products that I've been using today. You can get all this exclusively at Guardian only. So for more details, just head on to my description box below. And if you have any questions, just leave me at the comment section below. Alright, so I hope you like this makeup look. And if you have any other requests, please let me know also at the comments. And I cannot wait to see you guys again very, very soon. 